I've always been interested in kind of bridging the gap between science and policy. I'm hoping to get an MD, MBA, and I want to become a cardiothoracic surgeon, primarily to serve black and brown communities who have historically been underserved. I'm specifically interested in global health that relates more to Sub-Saharan Africa, specifically Western Africa, because that's where I originally am from. So when you're in a science class, you look around and you see, oh wow, like there are only like three colored people in this classroom. And when people come from communities where there aren't a whole lot of role models like that, it kind of confirms things that they were already kind of thinking going into the classroom. So a lot of students come in and later decide that that's not a career for them, sometimes from, you know, no longer being interested, but a lot of times from feeling like they can't achieve it. The pathway of medicine is really long and it has a lot of different components. There's a lot to learn about it and when you don't know enough people in it or if you're too shy or young or not self-confident, it can really easily push you off that path. So basically the Pathways to Medicine Scholars Program was a program where underrepresented minority students in medicine came together and we learned about like public health and medicine. We met weekly and we talked about the social determinants of health. And we had speakers come in and help facilitate these discussions. In the past, health has been looked at more through like a biomedical lens. However, there's so many social factors such as housing, race and ethnicity, income, that actually really contribute to a person's health. We discussed issues of education, we discussed issues of race, we discussed issues of gender, and we discussed issues surrounding uh, differences between equality and equity. Healthcare is working with people. It's important that we have students that are looking to go into this profession to start talking about the issues that are in our healthcare system. Another great thing about the program, just hearing uh, from your own peers about their aspirations, their difficulties, the obstacles that they've gone through, but also the deep desire that is in them to like right the wrongs of their world through healthcare. And it kind of makes me like kind of uncomfortable and uneasy about it. As I participated in more and more of the programs, I actually like formed a lot of friendships as well because you have a shared experience of doing pre-health at Dartmouth. That we as people of color are looked to, and really it falls to us often, to be the ones who, in the places we occupy, bring this equity lens. The Pathways program was only a term, but we met every week, and then we took a trip during spring break to DC to sort of further explore that. So after we got off our first Amtrak, we like went out into like the mall and we could see all like the different buildings, the Washington Monument, the like, Capitol Hill and stuff, and I was just like, oh my god, I'm in Washington, and it was just super exciting. We visited a variety of sites from a more relaxed visit at the African American History Museum to like very medicine-focused trips to Johns Hopkins. It's a variety of different medical groups and organizations who are focused on serving underserved populations. And not all specifically medicine or hospitals, because healthcare is a holistic thing, so trying to tackle it from different angles. So it's us getting to see all these places in the real world. Okay, hi everybody. My name is Sue, welcome to Mystic again. I'm trying to grab it. Um, this is a gallbladder removal surgery in which a 43-year-old male has to get their gallbladder removed. We got to actually like, play with these really expensive machines. And I was totally thrilled. I, I know that's what I want to do. It made me really kind of reaffirm, like, hey, you have the chance now. See if this works for you. Like, it's only a couple of minutes, but I was like, yeah, this is it. <laughs> you got a sense of, you know, how hard you can press. At Johns Hopkins particularly, all of the doctors really like stress the importance of mentorship and the role that other people have made in helping create the careers that everyone has. You cannot go through life on your own. You need people that, to support you. You need mentors to guide you through this path. In, in science, like, you know, we all sit on the shoulders of people who came before us. So just kind of like, you know, recognizing the needs to like sit on the shoulders of the doctors that came before us. And I feel like that was sort of what the entire program was centered on unofficially. A lot of the upper class students in the program became mentors of some of the younger students in the program by way of offering advice for classes, extracurriculars, what to do on the trip, how to network with other people on the trip. Yeah. 
So the Holistic Life Foundation is the organization that created a mindfulness and meditation program for Baltimore City Schools for the students who are suffering from stress and anxiety due to trauma that they're experiencing either at school or outside of schools. They showed us a couple of their breathing exercises and some of the activities that they did with the kids, which was really cool. Left. And it was the first time that I ever took mindfulness seriously. Seeing it used for people who are living really difficult lives in really dangerous places, trying to battle a lot of stress, and seeing how important that can be um, made me feel like it had more power and it wasn't necessarily an exclusive thing. You know, like you get strokes, you know, you get heart attack. You know? And that trip really opened up my eyes to be aware of the different factors that affect people, whether those factors be in their control or outside of their control. There are many components of medicine that we never get a chance to really discuss that are so crucial to not only being part of the development of the future physician or medical professional, but also to really inspire and renew the motivation to move through the very rigorous journey that's ahead of a student. I think a lot of us are interested in these things, but we haven't known what that meant or what that looked like. Policy, global health, these kind of really broad, big, vague terms and actually seeing people working on it. What does that look like? How did they get to where they were? Help me feel better about my future and my paths. So what was really fantastic was that we had alumni, we had faculty, we had physicians that weren't even associated with Dartmouth that were so invested in our program. You know, being able to like hear from them, being able to hear their experiences and uh, just being inspired I guess it really doubled my efforts, doubled my aspirations to actually continue on the path I'm pursuing right now. It was great to see like people in those positions that some might find like unreachable or unaccessible. So it was really great to see people who look like you very high up again and offering their hand to help you guide you through the through the process. Just this one trip, this one term, I think was super powerful and I can see every single one of us doing everything that we want to do and being really, really great at it. I can see us spearheading this work in the future. <laughs>